Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozor. In this video, I'm going to talk about the capabilities of abacus in fracture mechanics. As you know, abacus has extensive capabilities in modeling cracks. The initiation of cracks and the propagation of cracks and damage propagation. In this video, I will talk about several methods of modeling and analyzing cracks in abacus. This is the table of content of this video. First, I want to talk about the introduction, then I will talk about fracture mechanics in abacus, then I will talk about the contour integral in abacus, then I will talk about XFVM in abacus, and finally I will talk about CZM in abacus. There are two different methods for Damage initiation and damage propagation analysis. The first method is based on fracture mechanics, and the second method is based on continuum mechanics. About the first method, I can say that damage is modeled as one or more than one sharp cracks in the structure. Crack initiation and crack propagation is analyzed. And about the second method, I can say that there will be no initiation or propagation of sharp cracks in the structure. Damage is initiated and propagated through downgrading elements and element removal. Both of these methods are available in Abacus and Abacus has extensive capabilities in both of these methods. But in this video, I want to talk about the first method that is based on fracture mechanics. Most of the famous methods for crack analysis are available in Abacus CAE. Here I have mentioned four methods. Contour integral method, XFEM method, CZM method, and VCCT method. In this video, I will talk about these three methods. Now I want to talk about the contour integral in abacus. Contour integral is a traditional technique for analyzing stationary cracks. Stationary cracks are a kind of crack we assume do not propagate. By using this technique, you can calculate stress intensity factors J integral, CT integral, and T stress in a static or quasi static problem. This technique cannot simulate the crack initiation and crack propagation. This means that for using this technique, you must define an initial crack in the structure before applying loads to that. A structure because this technique cannot simulate the initiation of the crack. This technique is only available in Abacus standard solver and it is not available in the Abacus explicit solver because this technique is developed only for static or quasi static problems. Its basis is not suited 
and available for dynamic problems. Now I want to talk about the XFEM or extended finite element method in Abacus. By using XFEM, you can analyze stationary cracks like contour integral technique only in a 3D space. Uh, by using this technique, you can calculate stress intensity factors, T stresses, J integral, and CT integral in 3D structures. Uh, in the 2D space, you cannot define XFEM cracks that are stationary. By using XFEM, you can simulate crack initiation and crack propagation in a static, quasi-static, and dynamic problems. The calculations will be totally solution dependent and the algorithm will calculate the crack propagation direction automatically and without any limitation. It means that there is no need for defining the direction of the crack propagation or the plane of crack propagation. The XFEM algorithm will calculate this direction automatically. By using XFEM, you can simulate crack propagation in both of the ductile and brittle materials. And this technique is only available in Abacus Standard Solver. And it's not available in Abacus Explicit Solver. For simulating crack propagation in structures that are subjected to dynamic loading, you must use the dynamic implicit step. Now I want to talk about the CZM in Abacus cohesive zone method. In Abacus, there are two ways for using CZM. The first way is cohesive element and the second way is cohesive surface. In this way, you must define cohesive elements in the domains that the crack can propagate in them or you think that the crack can propagate in that regions and in this way about the cohesive surface you must define surfaces with cohesive interaction property in the domains that can be damaged and the crack can propagate in that domains. CZM can be used for modeling delamination and damage propagation in adhesive connections and connection with cohesive behavior. I think that uh, CZM is the best technique for modeling delamination and damage propagation in adhesive connections. This technique is available in both of the Abacus standard and Abacus explicit solvers and can be used for modeling static, quasi-static and dynamic problems. There are many connections that have cohesive behavior like the interaction between the reinforcements and the concrete. The connection between the concrete and rebars, I mean the steel rebars, is cohesive. Or there is cohesive behavior between 
the layers of composites or there is a cohesive behavior in the connection between coatings and the base material. You can use these ways for contacting us and these are our services that are paid services and these are our terms and conditions for our services. All of our services are paid services and we can always adapt our services according to your conditions and your needs and the cost of services depends on the subject of your project and its complexity. Uh, so the cost of projects can differ from each other and the cost of service must be paid by PayPal and there is no other way for paying the cost. Thank you so much for your attention and concentration. Good luck.